Hello and welcome to the Buzzier Bees Mod Spotlight. This mod adds a bunch of new bee related items and some other things as well. So let's get started. So the first item I'm going to look at we've got here is a glazed pork chop. You make it with a cooked pork chop and some honey. And it will remove the mining fatigue effect. Next we have the honey bread and this will remove the bad omen effect. And finally we have the honey apple and this is going to remove the levitation effect. So one of the things you'll probably notice most about this mod is there's a bunch of different types of candle here. So you make the regular candle simply with some string and some honeycomb and then you can dye it to whatever color you want with some dye. And we also have the scented candles which will require a popped chorus fruit. So you can see when we place them down, we place them down similarly to sea pickles, two different states, so we can also be unlit as well. Now there's also these which are the scented candles. I've placed down a cornflower scented candle and the effect of these will be exactly the same as if as what would happen if you put it into a suspicious stew. But you also notice in the Whaler tooltip there, it says enchant power one. And it's 0.25 for each candle, so it's gonna be one enchant power for each block of candles that you put there. And if we do that, you can see this is already going to a higher level than it would normally. So the enchantment boost is going to work even if the candles are unlit. Okay, we also have a couple of things that you can do with bottles. So we can actually capture bees. So when we take a look at the tooltip, it's going to say bottle of bee. And what we can also do, for instance, hit the bee, make the bee angry. Now when we capture it, you can see on the left hand side the bee's eyes are red. Now that we've been stung, it's going to say stingerless. You can also capture the endomite as well. The final bottle you can get, again with the arthropod theme, is the bottle of silverfish. And with this, you can actually craft it up with all the different types of stone. And we'll just take a look at, say, the infested cobblestone. That just gives you a slightly different looking uh, block. And interestingly, the tooltip will not tell you that. Buzzier Bees also adds a range of different types of beehive. Then we also have the honeycomb bricks including this one with the face of a bee on it. And we've also got the trap door and the door, all with suitable honey sounds. So this block is kind of interesting, the crystallized honey block. So once we jump on the honey block, it's actually gonna break. We also take a bow and arrow out. Also gonna break it. There's also a couple of flowers as well that are added. So we have these different types of clover. And speaking of clover, if you go into the jungle or desert pyramids, you can find the four leaf clover, and that is used to make luck potions. So you can see we can put some of our clovers in the composter. You can also bone mill the clovers to get additional ones. You can also put the clover, the clovers into flower pots. And this was the buttercup, which we'll look at in a minute. And here we have the apiarius house. And here is the apiarist arriving on time. So let's see what the apiarist can give us. You can see they're going to give us candles, which you've already seen. And it will actually do trades from atmospheric. So that's a desert flower, the yucca flower. And you can see you can also get the four leaf clover. Now there is one other thing that I was hoping for in the trade. If we take a look at the chest, it's actually in there. And that is the honey wand. So the honey wand can remove and insert honey from beehives and bee nests without angering the bees. So let's take a look. We've got no honey in our inventory at the moment. Now we do. So we can attack an enemy with the sticky honey wand and that's actually gonna slow the enemy down. You can see the sheep here has slowness. And finally, you can actually eat the uh, sticky honey wand. Well. This item here is the honey pot, which uses honeycombs and is the workplace block for the APS villager. Uh, so we can insert some items with Popper there into the honey pot. We could also extract the honey blocks there out. Also, the honey pot is going to have a comparator output. Uh, if we go down here, uh, the apiarist fell down here. This is the honey lamp. Requires an end rod to get and it's a light source. So I think this is the candle painting and also we've got the, the loom stuff as well. So this would be a honeycomb banner. Okay, we've got some moo blooms. So one trade I didn't get from the villagers was the shears. And we can shear them for the buttercups. They have a pretty cool particle effect. This is a new bee. Grizzly 
bears larger, right? Anyway, that's going to do for this spotlight, so thanks for watching.